Hey, good morning, movers. If you're all about doing a high intensity, no equipment, cardio hit, something's gonna get your heart rate up, help you burn body fat, this workout is for you. No equipment required. Our format's gonna be 30 and 10, so 30 seconds of intense work, 10 seconds to transition. We're hitting everything in the whole body. So I'm not gonna lead you on a warm up. Those first couple of exercises will be warm up esque, but if you want something specific, click the card at the top of the screen and do that one. Also, you're gonna need a hearty strength workout for tomorrow, because this was all cardio. So make sure that you click the card there, download that, and be ready for tomorrow's workout. All right, let's do this. Let's move daily. Okay, let's just start with a slight shuffle, just right here, a little side to side, just to get the heart rate up a little bit. Okay, nothing too out of the box, off the hop here, but we will get there, believe me. You know that. That's why you join this workout here today. We like to make it intense. All of these can be modified as well. I'll show you the low impact version. Sorry, I didn't right here, but I will coming up, okay? All right, we're gonna move into an ice skater. You can tap side to side just like that, otherwise we're hopping it out. Get low, ready, and work. I love this 30 second time frame. And especially with the no repeat cardio, this is just gonna be really fast and fun. If you have an exercise you don't like, you know you're never coming to it again, which is great. All right, a little shuffle here if you want. Tap it out there to modify. You're gonna move into a squat. Front kick, we'll get the legs warmed up. Here we go, and kick low, that's it. Stay tall here, shoulders back. Stick your chest out, drop your glutes. All right, little shuffle. Moving in just to a scissor jump. Well, scissors, front and back. Here we go. Okay, modify here with the top. Feel my heart rate starting to climb. That's great, it's just been a few minutes so far. Side lunges next. Jump up here. Okay, side lunge, high knee twist. All right, so you're gonna take it here. You're gonna lunge here, twist. Good, right there, low. Last one here, switch sides, and go. Shuffle here, good job. Jumping butt kicks are next. You're gonna modify here with no impact. Otherwise, right here, jump, double hop on that foot. That's it. That's it, halfway. Okay, you're gonna do your jack. Front punch, okay, get ready, here we go. Nice 
Have a strong punch right in front of the eyes there. All right, good. We're gonna do a little knee drive right here. Okay, I'll go halfway on it. Get ready. Here we go. Up, up. Get low on your stationary leg. It's in a slight squat. That's it. All right, switch legs right here and go. Jumping jacks coming up. All right, modify here. All right, otherwise we're gonna jump here and here. Whew, get your breath, ready. Let's go, up and center, side and center. this out. You're going to do a high, low punch. We're going to get the lats and arms warmed up a little bit before our push-up sequence. Here we go. Up, low, low, modify here without the hop. Otherwise, your jump, jump, low, low. Getting ready for push-ups. I'm gonna do an inch warm down. Push up from the knees or toes. Okay, so standing here, let's inch warm down. Give me a push up at the bottom. Walk back up. All right, here we go. Remember not to let the back sag. Bring the chest down. Be strong. All right, shuffle this out. You're gonna do a jack high knee. You'll modify right here. All right, and go. We're gonna move down to push-ups again. We're gonna do, I'm gonna do stacked push-ups. One foot on top of the other. So I'm in a tripod. You can do them from your knees though to modify. Okay, take it down. Good. So, one foot on top of the other. I'll go, elbows go back and diagonal. Here we go.
Little side shuffle is next. All right, down low, this is your modification. Side shuffle, tap, otherwise we're gonna run that out. Get low, here we go. One, two, one, two. That's it. Stay low. Side lunge, center hop, okay, or side lunge, center squat. Work, and here, and lunge, here, Another push-up sequence, the push-up plank jack. Okay, take it down. Oh, good job. Whew. Okay, jack or tap at the bottom. So push up, up, jack or tap to the side. And go. or reverse lunge, okay? Ready, burpee here. Burpee down, jump me lunge, jump me lunge, repeat.
That was hard. Curtsy lunge. Okay, side to side. Diagonal lunge right here. Alternating and down. Good, low. Stay tall. That's it. I'm dropping that back knee low as I can. Okay, predator jacks coming up. Modify here. Okay, I might as well jump it. Here we go. Seven seconds. Oh, I need the break there. Good job. Squat roundhouse is next. Feet shoulder width. Get low. Low, up and over. Alternate. Staggered squat jump is next. Okay, or staggered squat. One foot slightly in front of the other. Squat up and down, I'll go half. Otherwise, we'll jump. Get low. All right, switch legs and work. Oh, it burns. Oh, okay. One, two, three, hop. One, two, three. One, two, three. That's your mod. Otherwise, get low. One, two, three. One, two, three. Went up to a bear crawl. Okay, we got a little sequence down there. Okay, front and back bear crawl for the first 30 seconds, then a lateral bear crawl for the second 30. Hover over the ground. Opposite hand, opposite foot, at the same time. Then back. Stay just two inches above the ground.
Let's have it. Good, ready to uh, climb the ladder. Here's a modification. I'm gonna get that heart rate up before we go down again. Ready, work hard here. Let's go. Little reverse crunch kick on the ground is next. Knees up, knees up. Three, two, one. Okay. You're here. Kick up, push the hips to the ceiling. Here we go. Up and kick. It really is a hip thrust. So think of glutes, you'll feel quads. Little abs, shoulders. Okay, stay down here. Just a bicycle on your back. We're gonna go a little rapid in your pace here. Here we go, one, two, three, four, like that. That's it. Reach your elbow to the outside of the knee if you can. You can modify here. We're going to pulse it out 30 seconds aside. Ready? Pulse. One and two, three, four. That's it. Six, seven, and eight. Reminds me of the eights class. You guys like that one? I'm definitely going to film another one of those this week sometime. But maybe like a lower body focus eights class and then upper body focus eights. Something like that. Who knows? We'll see what comes out. Suddenly, very hard. Three, two, oh, okay, that cut up to me. Oh, switch sides. Bring the breath down. Ready? Here we go. Up, pulse. I had to walk that out. You can walk it out from a couch or a chair or box as well. You don't want to get right on the ground. Narrow wide. So walking, we'll walk it narrow, narrow step, wide, wide stand. No jump on this one. Ready, narrow, wide, stand. Stand. Ready? 
So down, knees to elbow. Stand, no jump. Knee to elbow. I've got one more burpee combo. Then I'll move on from these. Bulldog burpee is next with a shuffle. Okay, so you're gonna jump down into bulldog or bear. Shuffle, burpee, let's go. Walk this out to modify. segment. Okay, so modify this. Criss cross squat. Okay, here we go. Front squat, jump back. Go front and back. Jab, jab, jab right there. Modify, walk that out. Get low, ready, here we go. Jab, jab, jab there, boom, boom. I guess it's a hook, hook, sorry, boom, boom. Last workout, we're gonna do it again. A lot of people thought it was like patting your head around your stomach. You're gonna modify like this. Otherwise, jump, jump. Get those elbows up, hands up. This is hard on the shoulders, actually. Three, two, switch legs right here. Hands up, hands up. Burns. Okay, fast feet in a box. You're gonna fast feet up, go to the side, back, and across, switch directions. Low. Switch. Fast feet, just keep the fast feet clean going. So, you're gonna go three, two, one, walk down to a burpee, or do a floppy burpee onto your stomach. Ready? One, two, three, floppy, stomach, push. One, two, three. Seconds aside, one leg straight, one knee bent, come up and touch and work. This one's intended to bring the heart rate down slightly. 
That's why 30 seconds aside here. Five more seconds. Okay, rest there. Oh, that feels amazing. <laughs> Switch legs. You only have four seconds. Tight tummy, upper body up. Here we go, lift and work. We're not quite done yet. We got some windmill army roll next. If you don't have room for the roll, just give me the windmill. Okay, so get into windmill position. Bum is high and pike. You're gonna go one, two, three, stomach, roll. Push up, here we go. And one, two, three, down. Roll, push up. One, two, three, or just stick with the windmill there. I want to do it again, but I said no repeats. This time, we'll just do the windmill. Get ready. Here we go. One, two. This is gonna be a long time on here. Break if you need. Going, you're so close. Don't stop. Push. Okay. Wow. <sighs> Skipping skip. Just like this. Here we go. Okay, modified here. Okay. That was aggressive. <laughs> We're gonna do a um, foot pound skip. I can't remember, a grip. plyo skip maybe is what I called it before. I'll show you in a sec. So it's here, okay? That's coming up. This feels great, it really does. Ready? Yes, let's go. <laughs> this one's kind of fun, isn't it? It's like dancing, like the Charleston or the can can or something, you know, the old days. Okay, center jack, side squat. That's your mod. Shuffle back. Here we go. Eight shells. Hop up, 
for a two-sided crunch. Elbow, elbow, hand, hand, crunch, crunch. Down, down, up, up, left, right. Down dog crunch, hop is next. Okay, modify this by just eliminating the hop. Driving one knee low, extending up. Here we go, low and hop, low. Let's hit this one 30 seconds aside, okay? So go slow, control, low, low. I want you to feel it in that quad. your abs and shoulders. Nice. Pause. My sister loves this one. It's her favorite. It's like doing handstands like a kid. All right, dive. Here we go. Up and in. Up. She loved doing it 30 seconds a side. <laughs> That's what one has to ask. Holy wacky jacks. Can we modify here? Here we go. Okay, one more exercise. Rocket squats coming up, and then you're done. Good workout. I feel worked. Great for hotel room. Cardio day. Okay. Rocket squat. Down. Two, three, explode. Left heel picky. Go. suggested workouts for tomorrow. Also, a little chat about our foods good and bad. Curious, I don't know, maybe. Check that out. Otherwise, I'll see ya in the next workout. Okay, just bring the heart rate down slightly here. Oh, that was good. About 400 calories burned, according to my apple four here. Let's just swing this out here. Again, just wanna bring the heart rate down before we get down to stretch. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Slow exhale here. Good, one more deep breath in. Slow exhale. Before you get down, let's cross over, stretch our IT band out. So take a deep breath, inhale, exhale as you descend, round through the back. And just hold that there, stretching that back side of your leg. Oh. Cardio really does feel like it's you're so hot in the face and sweaty, right? It's like different than weights. Of course, you know I recommend both for health and longevity. Switch sides. Deep breath in. And especially if you want to change what your body composition looks like, resistance training is really critical. And to stay strong as you age, like holy, you've got to bear weight, people. You just do, okay? It's important. All right, round up slowly, roll those wrists. 
Let's take it down. Sit. One leg out. We're going to hinge forward at the waist. So yesterday, well, I'm taping this. Yesterday was the Super Bowl and, you know, a lot of people probably over ate, over drank, you know. It's, it's what happens when you're at functions like that. Lots of, for lots of people, not everyone, but, but lots of people do that. And then they tend to just beat themselves up, maybe do a workout like this to compensate for all of that. Um, and in their minds, switch sides here, I think that they think there's some good foods and bad foods. And I like to teach that foods don't have that emotive quality, like they're not good or bad. Um, some are higher nutrient dense, others are zero nutrient dense. So there's, there's that component. I think the moment you start to say, that is bad, that's bad for me, I can't have that, like ice cream, chips, you know, cookies, cake, fried foods, sometimes our brains actually want it more and crave it more because it's something that's restricted. Let's bring this leg across for a glute stretch. So maybe change your thinking about that because what I really want you to begin to think about is more balance. Like, is your life in balance? And if you want to be lean and healthy, fit and healthy, uh, the name of the game is to eat healthy, nutrient-dense, whole foods, minimally processed foods, 80 to 90% of the time. If you're going for fat loss, weight loss, then 90%. If you're going for sustainability and overall health, probably 70 to 80 is, is somewhere where you could be too. But it's balance, right? So then when a Super Bowl weekend comes, like I went to my friend's house yesterday and there was nachos and I had a few of those. Um, and what else? There was some chocolate there. I had a bit of that. Um, lots of us brought healthy dishes, so there was lots to choose from as well. But, you know, so having that stuff doesn't bother me on any level because it's not like I have that multiple times in the day. It's not like I eat that 70 to 80% of the time and then I'm only eating healthy foods minimally uh, percent of the time. So that's the big difference. It's having that life that's in balance and then there's no need to restrict completely those foods when they come about. Like if you're on a vacation or you know if you go to a Super Bowl party or someone's birthday. Um, I said that at a workshop once. I said, nothing's benign. Every choice that you make is either leading you down the road to better health or toward ill health. And someone said to me, let's stretch this way. So you're telling me if I go to my sister's birthday and have a piece of cake, I'm going down the road to bad health. And that's where you got to go, okay, no, that's not the, the concept. The concept is that what are you doing the lion's share of the time? 80% of the time, if you're eating towards better health, that's the way the path is going to go, right? If you're eating 80% of the time toward ill health and having cake 80% of your week, yes, then those choices will all add up and lead you down the road to ill health. So that's your encouragement this week is to focus on balance, okay? So it's not full restriction unless you have, you know, dietary restrictions that you need to follow, in which case typically your life is hanging in the balance and then you want to do that. But my mindset is always to aim for what's going to serve you towards better health. Really, if you can have that mindset, then you're going to increase your longevity. Then you're going to live a life of balance and not restriction. Um, and you're going to have a better and healthier relationship with food overall. Do you agree? If you do, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you think about that topic. All right. Thanks for joining. I'm so sweaty. That was great. So strength workout for tomorrow. Don't forget that. And in our membership, of course, we offer all of these sorts of strength workouts to help you build lean muscle tissue and support in your nutrition and wellness to help you get on that path. So check that out right there. See ya in the next workout.